Hello, I'm Kathleen and I'm a new graduate speech pathologist and this is a video on how to back up a ProLoquo to go file to your computer and secondly I'll show you how to transfer that same ProLoquo to go file back to your iPad or another brand new iPad. Basically there are two ways on how to back up ProLoquo to go. The first one is using Wi-Fi, so you don't need to use cables or anything. And the second option is using the cables and the iTunes program. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to back it up using the cables and the iTunes program because at work or at school or whatever, you might not have access to Wi-Fi, um, especially in Australia when our internet's kind of slow, so yeah. So open your ProLoco to go app and on the bottom right hand side click on settings, so that's what I'm tapping there. Then scroll down until you see backup and tap on that. Once you tapped it, click backup all users now. This will back up all the profiles that you've made in ProLoco to go and I just usually do that by default anyway. Then click no. Uh, I click no um, again just in case something bad happens so we don't lose anything. Now after you've done all this a grey screen should pop up which means that it's currently backing it up. The next step is to click on export backups and you must click this and do this step otherwise the whole process won't work. Now you should see a list of different files and you need to look for the most recent file. So for me it's the 27th of July 2014 and you need to click on that then click on uh, export to iTunes and a new window should pop up that says OK and that means that it's ready to be exported to the computer. OK now you need to go back to your computer or laptop and go to the iTunes program. Now if you don't have this you need to just go to Google and download it. Just type iTunes download in Google and it should show up. Now before doing anything else we need to prevent the iTunes program from automatically syncing to your iPad or iPhone or other Apple device. This is because if you leave it on it will completely erase your iPad. So it will completely wipe it out. Now on the top left hand corner, click on that black and white box symbol, then click on preferences. Now if you can't find it there, on the top left, click on edit and you'll find preferences there. So a new window should pop up and on at the top, click on that devices, so that black phone picture. Then make sure that prevents iPods, iPhones, iPads from syncing automatically is ticked. Make sure that is ticked and after you tick that, click OK. Now connect your iPad to the computer using your charger cable. A new window should pop up that says autoplay and press the X to close it. Now go back to the iTunes program and on the top right hand side you can see it says iPad. You need to click that. Now after you click it, the screen should pop up and you need to click on apps at the top there. So click on apps. Now on the rightest, 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 rightest scrolly thingy, um, you need to scroll right down. So this is often um, parents and teachers get confused with this step because you need to click um, find the scrolly button on the rightest. Uh, yeah, so scroll right down until you see file sharing and click on ProLoquo to go. So under ProLoquo to go documents you can see all those backup files. You need to find the most recent one. So my one says today, so that's my most recent one. Then click on save to. Once you click on save to, this should show up and save it anywhere you like. So you can save it to the desktop, my documents, anywhere. Or you can do what I did and save it to a ProLoquo to go folder that I've made. So once you find a place, click on select folder to save the file onto your computer. So now it should be on your computer and we're going to check it. 
So we're going to my folder there. And as you can see, there's the file we saved today. Now best practice is to rename this file to today's date so you don't get confused on which one was the most recent or the one that you just saved. So to rename files, click on the file, right click it, sorry, uh, then scroll down and click rename. So press rename and just type in um, today's date and that should be it. And that's basically how to save it onto the computer. So now I'm going to show you how to transfer that Proloquo to go file back onto your iPad or a completely new iPad. So go back to the iTunes program. So again, if you don't have iTunes, you'll need to install it or download it from Google. And it's basically the same steps of what we did before. So on the top right, click on iPad. Then click on Apps. Then on the rightest scrolly bar thingy, you need to scroll right down until you see File Sharing. Then click on Proloquo to go. Now instead of pressing Save to, you need to click on Add. So click on Add. Now you'll need to find that file. So you wherever you saved it, if you saved it to the desktop or my document, so I saved it to that folder, so I'm going to go there and find that file, so the file we just saved was the 27th of July 2014, so click on that and click on open. So as you can see here, just look for the file to check if it's there, so there it is, 27th of July 2014, so that's the file we just transferred from the computer to the iPad. Now back on your iPad, go to settings on bottom right and go to the backup. Now click on import backup. So look for the file, so there it is, 27th of July, tap on it and click on import. So press import and press restore now and then click on restore and whatever you call that profile so once the gray screen is loading up that there it is so that's the file that we just transferred from the computer back onto the iPad now it looks the same as before but that's because I transferred the same file and that's basically the end of the tutorial Jeremy Kathleen